Welcome to the middle room workshop. Is the Atom Stack Maker F3 any good? Let's find out. This is a new concept applied to uh, desktop laser engravers. However, this is nothing new. In fact, in the professional industry, it's been used for a very long time. And plasma and laser cutting operators prefer this type of bed compared to the straight and weight blades bed because it reduces lock problems when cutting metals. Now, when cutting materials, we have a few requirements for our bed. And for simplicity, we refer to the non-metals here. The bed must be able to support the sheet we intend to cut and also to offer a way to clamp it if necessary. It allows the smoke and the heat to be expelled properly on the underside and ultimately to keep the underside clean. The typical honeycomb is a great solution to the problem. However, if you have ever been cutting with it, you will have noticed that the back side of your material shows smoked spot all along the cutting edges. Now, these spots correspond exactly to the contact point with, with the material. This is an undesired effect, especially when you cut natural materials like playwood, wood, MDF, and so on. Now, the Atom Stack Maker F3 minimizes this by minimizing the contact point with your material. Now, a quick note before getting uh, any further, I bought this product, so I'm not being paid by Atom Stack or any one of its affiliates for this video review. And as usual, you know, uh, I like to keep my opinion unbiased, so all of the opinions and thought that I'm about to share with you in this video, uh, they represent my honest feeling about the product. So with this out of the way, let's keep going. The design is clever and elegant, although I do not think that the black coating will last for a long time. Now, the key feature beside the bed itself are an affecting area of 420 times 420 millimeters, which is larger than the 400 times 400 engraving area of a typical desktop placer engraver, and do not have any crop due to the frame along the perimeter. Then, it is built in a clamping system. Uh, you have the possibility to extend the area by adding uh, additional uh, Maker F3. The flexible blades which alternate the rows can be removed so you can get an even cleaner job. However, this is applicable only if you are cutting not too small details. And the last is the flush design of the bed and its frame, which allows longer sheets to overhang uh, the side without creating a high side and therefore allowing you to get a consistent cutting. This, I have to say, along with the cropped area, is by far the most frustrating thing to deal with when you use a typical honeycomb. In fact, in one of my honeycomb, I've decided to cut the top of one of the hedges profile so that I was able to cut something that is 400 millimeters wide or tall, that's as much the machine can cut, and also to be able to place sheets that are longer, allowing it to overshoot without any problems. The bed comes uh, completely disassembled compared to a typical honeycomb, which means that the packaging is either more compact or it has a different form factor. And its assembly is simple and straightforward, and you will be able to get running in a couple of minutes. It really takes nothing to assemble it. The bed seems to perform very well, and the cuttings are overall cleaner than the honeycomb. Although it all depends on where the peaks or the crest of the blades uh, fall relative to the cutting puff. In fact, if your cutting puff passes above the crest, you will still notice a smoked area underneath. Said so, there are two points that I want to highlight. Now, the first one, uh, because of the insufficient opening on the bottom, you get more smoke returning up, which can be sucked in by the cooling fan of your laser module, therefore dirtying it more quickly. The second thing is the black coating which is definitely destined to be ruined with time. In fact, after the first cut, I could read the text of the word I cut with it. And in addition, it collects the oil and the glue coming off plywood. All right, let me now tell you what I like, what I don't like, and what I think it should be improved. First up, starting with the pros, is the actual clean result you get out of it, which works well, especially if you do not install the flexible rows and so you have a greater spacing between rows. Then the size, 
which covers the entire working area of your machine without cropping. The modular design, which allows your bed to grow in case you decide to extend your machine, your laser engraver. And the flush design, which saves you a lot of headache. So you do not need to cut your material to fit into the cropped area, neither you get inconsistency if you load longer shit. Now, a couple of things that I believe could be improved. Now, one, uh, it would have definitely helped if uh, on alternate rows, they would have uh, basically create the blades with alpha to shift so that in case your cutting goes on a straight line it will only hit 50% of the crest and that means 50% less uh, dark spots under your material. Now the other thing is the clamping system. You see the clamping bolts are tall and can sometimes be on the way of your laser module. In fact if you have one of the bolts closer to uh, the homing area it will most likely hit it. Of course, you can shorten them, you can trim them, but it would be nice to either move the balls to the side or change a little bit the clamping system. Let me now show what I don't like instead. Now, this is not a cheap uh, bed. Uh, with a price tag of around $100, this is one of the most expensive uh, cutting bed that you can get right now. So if you are on a budget, that will definitely be an impact. Second, since the bed is made out of aluminum, which is not bad because it's light, however, you won't be able to drop a magnet to clamp your material. So you can only use the built-in clamping system that will be limited to a sheet which is large enough to be reached by the clamping system. In fact, if you try to clamp something small, you will most likely be able to clamp it from one side, but not from the other. Now, I could have had this most probably to the uh, things that can be improved, because I think that if they had a couple of attachment points towards the center for the clamping mechanism, this will uh, basically do the job. All right, let me now tell you whether you should buy, consider it, or discard it. Now, taking into consideration the pros and the cons that I've discussed, and the opportunity to be able to uh, seamlessly uh, extend the bed if you need to extend your machine, I would definitely go for it. All right, and this is pretty much all. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you liked it, click the thumb up button below. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.